Lee Sun Kyun is a massively awarded actor. Many of you may know him from the Oscar-winning film Parasite. He has been in the industry for 23 years, but recently it seems it's the end for him. Here is the story of Lee Sun Kyun. He was born on March 2, 1975 in Seoul, South Korea. After beginning his career in musical theater, for many years Lee was relegated to minor and supporting roles on screen, only getting to play lead characters in one-act dramas. In 2007, his breakthrough came with Coffee Prince. However, he was always doubting his career path. In one of the interviews he said, I'm going to turn 40 soon and I am the head of a family. I've been thinking a lot as an actor. I didn't become an actor because I wanted to make money or reach a certain status, but these days I've been getting annoyed, tired, and self-conscious. He also admitted that he's been questioning why he was acting in the first place. However, in 2019, his hard work paid off, as he was cast in the Oscar-winning Parasite. He also won a Screen Actors Guild Award along with his castmates for outstanding performance by a cast in a motion picture. His career started to take off. When it comes to his personal life, he is married to a longtime girlfriend who is also an actress, John Hygiene. They were dating for seven years before they got married on May 23, 2009. They have two kids. So now about what is happening right now? Reports came out saying that someone from a movie Parasite is being investigated for drug abuse. Many started to think that it could be Lee Sun Kyun. Then his company came out with a statement. Firstly, we'd like to apologize for the concern caused by the report about actor Lee Sun Kyun, a label made of our company. We're confirming the exact facts of the allegations currently being raised against actor Lee Sun Kyun and will sincerely engage in investigations by the investigative agencies that may proceed in the future. And this is how Korean netizens reacted to this. The agency released a statement like like he's the victim, I guess it is true he got involved in drugs and was even blackmailed, this is so shocking, he was in so many good dramas, this is so disappointing, so doesn't this mean he really did drugs? As a result, he voluntarily dropped out of No Way Out, an upcoming thriller drama serial which just started its production days before the revelation of his alleged drug use. Lee Sun Kyun and John Hygiene were previously selected to endorse SK Telecom's kid and family-friendly educational service. Shortly after this information was made public, SK Telecom moved quickly to drop all of their endorsement materials with Lee Sun Kyun and John Hygiene from their official YouTube channel. Meanwhile, it was revealed that the Drug Crime Investigation Unit of the Incheon Metropolitan Police is currently investigating a total of eight individuals suspected of using illegal drugs at an adult entertainment establishment in Gangnam. They include actor Lee Sun Kyun, Huang Hanna, the granddaughter of Nam Myung Dairy founder Hong Do Young, and in the most recent developments, former idol trainee Han Seo Hee, who was previously charged with illegal drug use three times, including once in 2016 when she was investigated alongside former Big Bang member Top. Lee Sun Kyun has individually filed a report against two people for blackmailing him. However, even due to the controversy, his movie was doing great. On the 23rd, the film Sleep, starring actors Lee Sun Kyun and Yoon Yumi, secured the number one spot on the Wave and Watch a Movie popularity rankings on OTT platforms. At the time of its release, the film accumulated 1.45 million viewers with its unique direction and compelling storyline. On the same day, the Incheon Police Drug Crime Investigation Team officially launched a criminal investigation against Lee Sun Kyun on charges related to the drug control law, including the use of marijuana. Lee Sun Kyun has transitioned from being a subject of the preliminary investigation to a formal suspect. The police believe that Lee Sun Kyun used various types of narcotics, including marijuana, and they are expanding their investigation. The police also arrested A, a female employee in her 20s who worked at an entertainment establishment in Gangnam, Seoul, and who faces the same charges over the weekend. A is known to have had more than 10 phone calls with Lee Sun Kyun this year. Dispatch publicized an exclusive report concerning the ongoing drug case associated with top actor Lee Sun Kyun. 
The report further revealed that an informant who initially brought Lee Sun Kyun's name to light in this case was specifically a manager of a Gangnam based entertainment establishment known as Ten Pro. According to the report, this informant claimed that Lee Sun Kyun was one of their establishment's VIP guests suspected to be involved in drug usage. Dispatch said. The Incheon police, acting upon this tip, initiated a thorough investigation into A, including searching his residence and conducting mobile phone forensics. During A's intensive interrogation, Lee Sun Jian's name emerged, and consequent to several pieces of incriminating evidence being collected, he was promptly branded as a suspect. Further, the actor has been under a cloud of suspicion since early this year, following reports of him allegedly consuming marijuana and other illegal substances at A's residence in Seoul. Dispatch added. The individual who threatened and blackmailed Lee Sun Jian is the same embroiled in the drug case. A's motives behind such threats have yet to be determined. Later on it was reported that he actually was visiting not 10 Pro but 1 Pro. 1% room salon, functioning on a members-only basis, making it virtually out of reach for the general populace. Its clientele is mainly comprised of celebrities, renowned athletes, and top-tier business magnates. The term 1% implies that only those belonging to the societal top 1% are afforded access. These exclusive establishments, including G establishment, are known to charge from 5,950 to 7,500 US dollars for a table serving three to four persons, and their female employees garner table charge of around 1,500 US dollars. Amongst these employees, several are models, up-and-coming singers, and aspiring celebrities. Lee Sun Kyun was allegedly introduced to G establishment by a mutual acquaintance and gradually became a regular patron, developing close ties with manager A. Mother EF was married with children and going to a hostess bar. Child, the layers to this scandal are wild. Repeated marijuana usage at manager A's home in Seoul. Something tells me there was more than just smoking going on at her home. Adding another facet to this unfolding narrative, public attention has also shifted towards the responses of his wife, John Hygiene. On October 26, a video was uploaded to Lee Jean Ho's YouTube channel offering perceived insights. Lee Jean Ho asserted, had Lee Sun Kyun been unmarried, public reception of the scandal might have been less critical. Nevertheless, given his marital status, the situation becomes considerably distressing. The fact that he allegedly met the entertainment venue manager multiple times in private, coupled with his wife being well-known actress, John Hygiene, exacerbates the scandal. Upon the outbreak of the scandal, he immediately discussed the matter with his wife, John Hygiene, and those closest to him. As for the impact on John Hygiene, her initial reaction to the unfolding events was shock and fear, according to her acquaintances, he continued, seeing the man she knows as a loving husband and a devoted father embroiled in scandal shocked her greatly that she nearly fainted. His poor wife, she's done nothing wrong, she doesn't deserve to lose everything just because everyone is now hating on her husband. I wish people would have a bit of compassion for those caught in the crossfire. They're real people, not collateral damage. Notably, she is receiving recognition for previously putting her own promising career on hold to support her husband's foray into acting fully. This revelation emerged during their participation in the 2014 SBS show Healing Camp. John Hygiene half-jokingly lamented to Lee Sun Kyun on the show, saying, You drink and do what you will, while I suppress all my desires, so much so that I've forgotten the name John Hygiene. Nothing remains of what was the actress in me. Indeed, following their marriage, John Hygiene put her career on the back burner to support her husband's acting pursuits and focus on their home and children. However, as their kids grew older, she gradually returned to her acting career. Regrettably, the drug allegations surrounding Lee Sun Kyun are undoubtedly causing distress for John Hygiene. Just as she was finally reclaiming her place in the acting world, this scandal raised queries about its potential impact on her professional resurgence. Once the news came out, she sent their second son to study abroad. The eldest was already abroad. 
It seems like their mother John Hygiene had hurriedly made the decision on whether the situation of her husband would affect their children negatively. On October 28, Lee Sun Jian was summoned to the Incheon Nanhyeon police station for questioning by authorities. Lee Sun Jian spoke to reporters outside the police station and apologized for his controversy. Firstly, I sincerely apologize for the amount of disappointment I've brought to so many people because of my involvement in such an unpleasant incident. I would like to bow my head in apology to everyone who's given me trust and support until this time. As I delivered through my agency, I will dutifully participate in the investigation with an honest attitude. I feel very sorry to my family, who is suffering at the moment. I will sincerely and truthfully answer during the investigation. According to SBS News 8 on November 3, there were no traces of drug use in Lee Sun Jian's hair strands that underwent testing. Police also confirmed the news, stating that 100 strands of the actor's hair were tested after obtaining a search warrant. Both marijuana and pharmaceutical drugs were not detected in the test results. Police state the negative results could mean he did not take drugs during the past 8 to 10 months, but they're still moving forward with the investigation as the suspicion of drug use still stands. The police explained, as Lee was blackmailed and handed over 350 million won, we cannot rule out drug use before the period of 8 to 10 months. Lee Sun Kyun appeared in person at the police station once again after approximately one week. During a second police interrogation, the actor claimed he had unknowingly participated in drug use without knowing he had been provided with illegal substances. Reportedly, the drugs had been given to him by an acquaintance, a female general manager of an adult entertainment establishment. At the Incheon Nanhyeon police station, Lee Sun Kyun stated, she deceived me and gave me something. I didn't know they were drugs. His image has gone down the drain why did a married actor with that kind of renowned status have to spend time with a random general manager of an adult entertainment establishment anyway? I just laugh, thinking how much he tried to cover up his image thus far could he tell us how he got to know this woman in the first place? LOL is he telling us that he really didn't know the difference between a marijuana and a cigarette? LOL why was he even there at the venue? All his dramas, now there is no going back at first, he kept saying that he was innocent and now he's switching up some stories and admitting that he has at least done it? This makes his image even worse lol this is what we know so far. What do you think about this? Will you still support him or not? Thank you for watching and see you next time.